So the endocrine uh, are in comparison to the lobes with the pancreatic asini. We have here these pancreatic islets. which are also called the uh, Langerhans. Islets. So uh, these are going to uh, regulate uh, the glucose in our body. Uh, so we have uh, two different types of cells in the pancreatic uh, islets. We have uh, the beta cells. And we also have the alpha cells. So here, the beta cells are going to respond to high glucose levels. Also called hyperglucemia. But the alpha cells are going to respond to low glucose levels, also called hypoglycemia. And they are going to secrete uh, two different hormones that are really important for uh, the metabolism of glucose. So the B cells are going to secrete insulin. And the alpha cells, they are going to secrete glucagon. So insulin is going to travel through the blood, through the different organs of our body. And in, uh, insulin, what it's going to do is uh, going to reduce the amount of glucose in our blood. In comparison, glucagon is going to increase the glucose to fight against this hypoglycemia and uh, restore homeostasis in our body. Okay, so let's see how this is done. Uh, so both beta cells and alpha cells, the insulin and the glucagon, uh, they are going to have effects in three different organs in our body. So they are going to have effects in the liver. They are also going to have uh, effects in the adipose tissue. And finally, they are going to have effects in the muscle. So let's look at uh, what the insulin and glucagon uh, do in each of these tissues. So in the liver, what we have is the insulin is going to uh, promote glycogenesis. which is the transformation of glucose into glycogen. Okay, so we are removing, like, uh, we are removing the glucose from uh, the blood. We are also going to promote uh, protein synthesis. And more amino acid uptake. Okay. Then we go into the adipose uh, tissue. So in the adipose tissue, what we are going to promote is uh, lipogenesis. So the formation of fat, okay? So in order to remove all the sugar and the store of the sugar into the fat. And then finally in the muscle, we are also going to promote the uh, glycogenesis. We are going to promote uh, protein synthesis. And then uh, glucose uptake. And also amino acid uptake.
Okay. So uh, this is uh, the insulin. So now we are going to look at the glucagon. Uh, so the insulin and glucagon, they are antagonists. So they have, uh, uh, they have opposing uh, results in our body. So in the liver, the glucagon is going to uh, promote gluconeogenesis, which is the production of glucose. Then we're, we are also going to promote the glycogenolysis which is the breaking of the, of the glycogen to generate more uh, sugar for this uh, gluconeogenesis process. Then in the adipose tissue, instead of lipogenesis, we are going to have lipolysis. Lipolysis. So uh, what we are going to do, uh, the, the uh, glucagon is going to break the, fa the fat uh, through the process of lipolysis. And finally, in the muscle, we are going to have a decrease of protein synthesis. So as um, a fun fact, uh, here there are studies in which uh, glucagon is inhibited, and they have shown that by inhibiting glucagon, we can increase our muscle mass um, uh, by inhibiting uh, the loss of uh, protein synthesis as, as we have here in the muscle. Okay, uh, so uh, this, uh, uh, the process of regulation of the glucose levels can result into uh, different uh, in, into different diseases. Uh, the most common disease that affects this regulation of glucose is diabetes. So let's see, we can, so. So we have two different types of diabetes. We have uh, diabetes type one and also diabetes type two. Diabetes type one is uh, the um, uh, genetic diabetes. Uh, so this is a result of, um, uh, of the lack of production of insulin or uh, the production of insulin that is not functional. So this will be for type one. And then we also have diabetes type two, uh, which is not related to the secretion of insulin here, but is related to the action of insulin in the different tissues of our, of our body. And that will be diabetes type two. Okay, so we have gone uh, through the pancreas, uh, the anatomy of the pancreas. We have uh, gone to the exocrine function of the pancreas, the secretion of the enzymes and bicarbonate here in Yasinai, and then the endocrine uh, function of the pancreas in the pancreatic islets with the secretion of insulin and glucagon and the effects of insulin and glucagon in the different parts of our body. I hope that you enjoyed this lecture. See you next week.